Hello, and this is a showcase of my spite, how is it called? Spite Claws Swarm, which I actually finished in a week. Um, I did a little bit of like extra details to here and there for like three days after that, so I guess all in all, ten days. Um, yeah, obviously, if I do something like that, can't see them. Oh. Zoom in to see the back. And zoom out. And spin them around again. Um, oh god, let me remove those things from my ear. And let's show them individually. Um, this right here, I don't know what this guy is called, but it's the ninja one. I'm gonna show the three non-characters first, because I think there's two characters. And then there are these guys. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna... Like, I don't wanna take out the cards. I'm actually gonna look on the website. Oh, whoops. Yeah, because there is a website. Let's see. I can pause. Okay, so this one is called... Festering Skaven. And I want to do like a very simple paint job and I wanted it to look like it's night time. And they're lurking around on this on like whatever wherever they are lurking around in. I wanted it to be like it is night time. So yeah. And then this guy, and he is called Hungering Skaven. So I guess he's a bit hangry, and that's why he's just rushing in the way he is. And one thing about the Hungering Skaven that is very unique to him is that he has a tongue. All the other Skaven... I think, yes, all of them, other than the first one I showed you, the festering, they all have their mouth open, but this is the only one that has a tongue, which I found weird. But yeah, that's him. I like that he has a little, like, um, two, what, what, what do you call these types of flails? Do they have a special name, or is they, or are they just called Flail? And here we have the Lurking Skaven. Even though I would probably call this one more of a Lurking Skaven. Um, because, I mean, he looks more like a ninja, you know, ninja lurking. And this looks like a Mad Dasher, but... Yeah. yeah and, and for him, I actually added... Two skulls to his base. And I decided to give him a little bit of like red under, like a dark red like I've done most other places. Under his eyes because his helmet goes down like that and I thought that would look good. And it does. Yeah, also this guy could show, you see it there on his base. I actually, this guy is the only one, if you're gonna paint, do not make glue, uh, do not glue this guy to the base before painting him. Uh, because, if you see right there, there are, like, there's rats in the gutter right there, and it is really hard to paint them the way I did it, so... And then we'll go to, oh god, let's see if I can pronounce this. Kruk, the almost trusted. And he's the second in, com in command. And yeah, he has two rats on his shoulder right there. And he has a full helmet, protecting his eyes as well. So, I mean, really good.
Oh yeah, I actually had to cut myself when cutting bread. I wasn't paying attention and I cut myself while cutting bread with a bread knife. Okay, and here we have, well obviously his name is probably Spite something, Scritch Spite Claw. And the thing that I did to him, I added two skulls right there on the base because this has a little bit of a metal thing that comes out. So I decided, uh, let's stack two skulls, do something. Because I want to do like something to, to like my, my war bands. And yeah, I did at least. I put four skulls on these. How many models are there? Five? Yeah. But he, this was actually my most, the, the one that was the most fun to paint out of all these, even though I had a lot of fun painting them. Uh, I mean, I would say this guy was probably my least favorite because of the two rats right there. I had a hard time, like, figuring out how I wanted to paint them and everything, so. Uh, but hopefully I managed to get across like the nighttime uh, essence of this without the doing OSL or oh, no OB what do I got object source yeah OSL object source lighting because I don't like how it looks I've not seen a single good example of OSL and yeah I refuse to do it. So, I hopefully I managed to get some type of like nighttime feel from these guys. And let's see if I can show that off on the base. There's some rats there in the water, and I actually made the water pretty, pretty dark. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with that, with how they turned out, and it only took a week to do, so win-win.